So we're here with my man Gus Sermeno. He did it again. He got the Anthony Davis mural right behind me. You couldn't even wait 24 hours, bro. Tell me about this. Uh, I mean, just the hype behind it, you know, is that energy. So uh, I just want to come out here and paint, you know. Uh, it's something I do regardless. So when Anthony Davis came, it was just automatic. As soon as you heard Anthony got Anthony Davis got traded, what went through your mind? Um. Yeah, like like you said, championship, man. Like uh, at least that road, you know. Now people are gonna want to start coming here. When LeBron came, I figured it was gonna be automatic. People mm -hmm. would just want to play for the Lakers. Uh, but now with AD coming, I feel like that's that's reality now. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like you know hoping it's gonna happen. Yeah. So you you were the first one just to paint this. Like I said, you couldn't even wait for 24 hours. You just went to straight to Home Depot to go get the paint. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Uh, I had finished up a mural earlier in that day uh, when I found out. So I just. Literally, yeah, I went to Home Depot, picked up the paint, and came straight here. How long did it take you to to, to do the mural? Uh, about nine hours. Uh, it was three of us. Uh, I had the homies help me uh, fill everything in uh, mm -hmm. as I worked on the face, uh, and then came back through and kind of just added shadows and highlights and stuff. Uh, we started at nine and finished up like around six in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, now describe to me the mural. I see you got the, some of the championship banners. You got the retired jerseys. Yeah, um, so, uh, I mean, I always want to represent the Lakers when I do it. So, as an organization, like, they've been great. So, mm -hmm. it's something that, that always has to be present in my Laker murals to, to know that, you know, even though Anthony Davis is a great player, he's not bigger than the Lakers organization. Mm -hmm. um, respect, yeah. no, respect on that because this, this, on the same wall, you did the LeBron James mural, correct? Uh, yeah, actually, the one right next to it, but yeah, yeah, same wall, technically. <laughs> Yeah, so now that the Lakers, I mean, they got AD, there's rumors that they potentially may get Kawhi, Jimmy Butler. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, both of them are ballers. Uh, I definitely, uh, Kawhi, Kawhi's up on that list, but, um, I mean, it's exciting. It's like, uh, just, I mean, any big name that wants to come, I'm, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, so predictions for this next year for the Lakers? <laughs> I don't even know, man. Uh, at least we're making the playoffs, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Um, and once you're in the playoffs, it's, and it's a whole different game. So talk to me a little bit about the art. It seems like no one has really messed with this. I know you said it took you nine hours. What do you, what do you want to say to kind of have vandalized some of the artwork here? I don't know. I mean, everyone's going to do whatever they want to do regardless. So they're the ones that have to live with it, not me. Uh, for me, I paint. That's what I do. I'm going to continue doing it. So it's not going to stop me. It just sucks for people that come down here to actually check out the mural. Because I've had people come down from, like, Canada to come mm -hmm. check out my shit. So, or stuff, my bad. Mm -hmm. um, so, people like that, like, that's what I really feel bad about. Mm -hmm. I don't take it personally. Like, it's the name of the game. But um, it's just sad for, you know, fans that want to see it and come to see something destroyed. Yeah, I guess. So, you got, I mean, you got love from ESPN, Bleacher Report and everything. How did that feel? Uh, it felt good. Uh, so, I knocked out right, right. I posted it and fell asleep. And uh, so, I woke up to, like, just my phone blowing up and just all this craziness and I was it was just crazy <laughs> like I expected it to you know get a little traction but mm -hmm. definitely not how it, you know how it's been going final question where can people follow you on Instagram uh, at gz.jr thanks guys yeah